Welcome to Sky Broking Commodity Weekly Market Commentary. Disclaimer: This weekly market commentary is for information purpose only. Before taking any decision, consult your financial advisor. Major data of this week has inflation and economic related data. And on Monday, the US market is in a holiday, so that crude oil event will be postponed to Thursday. Now let's see the precious metals outlook. Gold and silver has news like gold finished on a down note as the dollar surged after bank earnings painted a picture that the most companies will face higher than expected expenses. The precious metals may be in for a choppy period until the January 26th FOMC meeting. Fundamentally, this is a slight negative news for precious metals and technically speaking, gold may expect a consolidation phase, silver may expect a consolidation phase. So these are this week's precious metals outlook. Now let's see the energy outlook. First is crude oil. It has a news like crude prices continue to rally on optimism that the oil market will remain tight as covid pandemic starts to move into the endemic phase. Money managers are turning very bullish with Brent crude, sending bullish bets to an 11-week high. Fundamentally, this is a positive news for crude oil. And technically speaking, crude oil may expect a continuation of positive bias and possible to test 6430 levels. Next is natural gas. It has news like the US government has held talks with several international energy companies on contingency plans for supplying natural gas to Europe if conflict between Russia and Ukraine disrupts Russian supplies. Two US officials and two industry sources told Reuters. Fundamentally, this is a mixed news for natural gas and technically speaking, natural gas may expect a negative bias with supports are 300.4 and 285.7 ranges. So these are this week's energy outlook. Now let's look into the base metals outlook. First is copper. It has a news like global demand for copper an essential component in manufacturing electric vehicles and consumer electronics will outstrip supply by more than 6 million tons by 2030. Rise to energy projects. This is fundamentally a positive news for copper. And technically speaking, copper may expect a mixed trade in between 702 to 772 levels. Next is aluminum. It has news like the aluminum billet premiums rise. Market bullish across the globe. This is fundamentally a positive news for aluminum. And technically speaking, aluminum may close above 237.5, which means some more upswings ahead. Next is lead. It has a news like the supply side was relatively stable, but the logistics in many places were restricted. This is fundamentally a slight positive news for lead, and technically speaking, lead may expect a mixed trade. Next is zinc. It has a news like the upward trend in zinc treatment charges. Continued in the fortnight to Friday, January 14th, with several headwinds combining to propel zinc TCs to the higher level in 16 months. This is fundamentally a positive news for zinc. And technically speaking, until zinc has a close above 293, which means profit booking remains in zinc. And the last is nickel. It has a news like the Europe-US lithium prices rally on strength in domestic China. Nickel sulfate prices track futures market up. Fundamentally, this is a positive news for nickel. And technically speaking, nickel may close above 1,652, which means more upswings ahead. So these are this week's Commodity Weekly Market Commentary. For more market updates, join our Telegram channel and the YouTube channel. Thank you by Skybroking.